वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लिविस थियरी ऑफ सरप्लस लेबर इट इज आल्सो नोन एज लिविस थियरी ऑफ अनलिमिटेड सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर In 1979 W Arthur Lewis became the first black man to win a Nobel Prize in Economics. He was awarded the Nobel Prize along with Theodore Schultz. His main contribution is he developed a two economic model which mark out the course of poverty among the population of the developing countries as well as the factors determining the unsatisfactory pace of development the lewis drop sector model of development is a structural change theory this theory explains the mechanism of changing structure of underdeveloped economies from a substance agriculture sector to a more modern and more urbanized industrial sector this model became the general theory of the development process for surplus labor nation during 1960s and early 1970s lewis model consists of two sectors in the economy they are the first one is the traditional sector it is the agriculture sector this sector is overpopulated substance sector where Marginal productivity of labor is almost zero. Due to zero marginal productivity of labor, it is possible to withdraw labor from this sector without affecting the level of output. This is why Lewis classified this sector as surplus labor sector. That is, labor is more abundant in this sector. And the second one is the modern industrialized sector. This sector is urban industrial sector the productivity is high in this sector labor is gradually transferred into this sector from the traditional agriculture sector the movement of labor from traditional to modern sector brings the expansion in both output and employment the speed of this expansion depends on the first one a rate of industrial investment and capital accumulation which ultimately depends on the level of profit lewis assumed that all profits are reinvested and the second one is the wage difference between the rural and the urban sector according to lewis there should be at least 30 percentage high wage rate in urban sector than rural sector in order to transfer the labor automatically from the rural to the urban sector lewis assumed that perfect competition existing in the labor market especially in the modern sector giving a fixed wage rate and horizontal supply curve of labor on the other hand wage rate in the traditional sector is given average productivity of labor that is the wage rate in the uh, substance sector is equal to the substance level is equal to average productivity per labor that is equal to the total product divided by the total number of labor okay i will explain how this theory works the right portion of the diagram shows the substance sector and in the right side the upper portion shows the total agriculture production we can see that the substance sector is abundant with the labor supply that is at l a amount of labor force the production function reaches the maximum and the marginal productivity reaches almost equal to zero the marginal productivity of labor in the substance sector that shown in the uh, low figure that is marginal productivity at the point l a equal to 0 if we apply 
additional labor force into this sector at beyond l a the total productivity becomes stagnant or constant it shows a vertical line then after that l a the sector operates with a negative marginal productivity of labor that means uh, uh, the product that uh, happening in that sector is uh, becoming uh, not at all profitable one but in the right side in the left side of this uh, diagram the capital sector or the uh, industrial sector the upper portion again shows the total industrial production but compared to the subsistence sector the productivity uh, of the capital sector is much higher that the the left side of the diagram the upper portion shows the total productivity curve of the industrial sector that is tpm km1 is the production function in the initial phase and in that production uh, function we utilize l1 amount of labor at a wage rate equal to wm and that sector is capable of producing profit higher than this wm level that is shown in the bottom portion of the uh, curve then at the same industrial wage rate with the expanding production activity the firm is capable of incorporating more additional labor force from the subsistence sector and the production expands as a result of the increased surplus created in the capital sector and with advancement in technology and with the increased in, uh, investment the productivity of the industrial sector shift to tpm km2 and at up in this production function an excess amount of labor that is from l1 to l2 is also absorbed in the industrial sector and with the increased productivity at the same wage level that what is already prevailed in the subsistence sector the firm can create higher surplus above the wage level then again this surplus is further reinvested then the production again expands in the industrial sector both employment and output increases in the manufacturing industrial sector the increased profit is again reinvested this process continues Uh, giving a self sustained growth until the surplus labor is absorbed in the new industrial sector okay let us move on to the criticism of the model although this model got very warm welcome during the 1960s and 1970s it is criticized for its assumptions following are the major points of criticism The first criticism is related to the capital accumulation that this model assumes that the rate of the labor transfer employment creation and output expansion depends on the rate of capital accumulated in modern sector the rate of capital accumulation depends on the level of profit higher the profit higher will be the rate of capital accumulation but there are two major problems with this process first the first what will happen in profit is reinvested in labor saving capital equipment equipment in this case output and profit will expand but the employment will not expand hence order of capital will be richer and richer leaving the rural people poor gnp will increase but aggregate social welfare will not improve the second problem is that this model assumes all profit is reinvested but there is possibility that if business environment is not optimistic within the economy there may be capital flight 
entrepreneur may deposit accrued profit in western banks in this situation there is no chance of expansion of output and employment according to the prediction of this lewis model and the second criticism is related to surplus labor lewis assumed that there is surplus labor in the rural economy and full employment in the urban sector but many researchers have shown that there is little general surplus labor in rural location and the last criticism is related to competitive labor market in modern sector lewis model assumes competitive labor market in modern sector the implication of this assumption is that supply of labor is perfectly elastic but historically it has been observed that there is a tendency of continuous rising wage level in almost all the developing countries due to the institutional factors such as union bargaining power civil service wage scales multinational companies hiring practices etc thank you